can't sleep at night and, and things that they talk about. Uh, that's him trying to get you to listen to him. Uh, but I've learned over time, I will believe in the report of the Lord. So the older I get, the more I will be manipulated by the king. And from the roof, he saw a woman <laughs> washing herself. And the woman was very beautiful to look upon. In the word that we can connect to to see how this thing happened. Mm -hmm. but even though it happened, God is able to take whatever comes in your life and work it out. And the problem with a lot of people today is that they want God to do it their way, but not God's way. Does it so that in the end, you knew it was God in the beginning, and it was God in the middle, and it was God in the end. If we're not careful, we will get so perplexed in the process that we don't understand that in the process happened, God already knew what you and I were going to go through. And because of that, I can trust him for the process. I don't want to get so sidetracked, praise God, that I forget where I am going. You got to be careful what your view is. David is no longer in his father's stead. Now he's the king. Because he is the king, you and I got to be careful what we look at. Because if I'm not I look at the wrong thing and it will change my focus. When God starts to elevate me, I got to make sure my heart is in the right place. The reason why the enemy is able to connive people and move people is because uh, their heart gets lifted up. And instead of them loving God, they start loving the thing. This is David. This is the king of Israel, and he's lusting after something he had no business lusting after. God starts to elevate you. The enemy starts to show you more stuff. And I know you want the six and seven figures, but let me give you an understanding. When God starts to elevate you, you got to be closer to God and not back away. When David is that day. He started looking at something that he had no business looking at. The Bible says you can't have it. It makes you want to have it more. And sometimes if we're not careful, as King David did, he got so caught up in his position that he forgot to get caught up with God. And you and I got to be so careful when God starts to, my God, give you assets and, uh, and your accountant stops saying, you're all right, you need to do something with this money because you're going to pay more taxes. No, no, no. I cannot get so caught up in this stuff that I forget about. It's not this stuff that's going to save me, but it's my work with God is what I need. And some of y'all don't hear me what I'm trying to say here is that there's a trap working out for you right there if you're not careful. You are right there. You are right there to your blessing. You are right here to get your praise going. And here comes the old boyfriend. But you know, baby, I was thinking about you. No, you wasn't. Uh, that was the devil trying to sidetrack. You got to make sure that your focus is right. Uh, because when your focus is not right, the devil can take your focus uh, off of God and all what you're looking at. Sometimes it wasn't you. It was a prayer of your mama. And some of y'all acting so sedated. Uh, like you don't need God. Can I tell you, baby? Uh, if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't be here right now. I've worked too hard. I've prayed too many prayers. I've fasted too many things. I gave up too many people. I gave up too many goals. And I'm not going to mess up where God is trying to take me. Your job is to take that thing and give it to God. Suit that God, give me, I bring it to church. And I tell that suit, listen here. You ain't here to be all cute and pretty. You're here to give God the glory. And some of y'all, if you're not careful, you take what God is giving you and start to glorify and start to magnify that. But I've learned over time, I will not let nothing separate me from the love of God. Some of y'all are excited about 2024. Huh? Oh, you got your plans all laid out. Huh? Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. No, no, no. Huh? Uh, it's all right for you to do that stuff. Huh? But make sure you don't forget God in the middle of it. Oh, when COVID was here big time, huh? everybody was coming to church. Huh? Everybody was saying, sanctify to the Holy Ghost and quiet out. Huh? And as soon as you got your vaccine, huh? as soon as things got better, huh? you went back to the old way. Huh? So you are 
are here. Mm -hmm. Your blessing is down the road. All right. All right. So it's the job of the enemy to get you sidetracked. So that you won't walk with God uh, to get what you coming down the road. So instead, uh, you do some zigzag. Y'all got quiet here. Yeah. You do some zigzagging because uh, you know your blessing is coming. Uh, but I don't know about y'all, uh, but if I walk with God uh, and I talk with God, uh, when I get there to my blessing, uh, my blessing is bigger uh, than it was to be. When you walk with God, uh, God gives you the desires of your heart, uh, but you can't let that walk with God. Backwards. But I'm on social media right now. Preaching the word of God. Oh, declaring that no matter what, it will not separate my walk with God. Discount God. When God kept my mind together, how can I discount God? When my enemies try to kill me, God kept their hand back. How can I discount God? When I was before the church and God gave me mercy. Y'all got quiet here. Yeah? Can I discount God when COVID was knocking at my door? Huh? But God said, How? I don't know if anything that you exalt above God. Sometimes your children can be an idol. Sometimes your brand new car can be an idol. Your career can be an idol. There's so many idols out here, and God says, You cannot have nothing above me. When you making God number one. If you're not making God the ultimate of your life, God will tear it and write somebody. He will tear it down. But I've learned over time, I'll have no other God but God. Make me an idol. Glorify my name. No. I cannot glorify man. I've got to glorify God. There was an uncle or there was a parent or there was a cousin who was older that had power. And because you didn't understand the magnitude, y'all help me here, you acquiesced in not understanding that little down the road, it would mess you up. You try to do drugs and you try to do alcohol. You try to sell your body and you're still not right. But I want to tell you right now, there's a God that's like Ajax, I know that's old school, that will cleanse and wash your sins away. There is a God that's able to take your own. Huh? And make you brand new. Here I am doing God's will. Huh? And here come a devil trying to get me. I've been sitting there for a while. Huh? How, many, huh? How many of you ever had a good time with the Lord? Huh? I've been singing praises huh? in your car. Huh? And here come a oh, no. If you're not careful, huh? they'll get you out of God's presence. That's an example of an idol. Huh? Because when you make me stop looking at God huh? more than me looking at God, huh? you just became an idol. Huh? But I've made up my mind. I'm not going to look at that, but I'm looking to the head. You got to be careful of people huh, that got their names full of all types of titles. Huh? Oh, I don't care if they can preach. Huh? I don't care if they can sing. Huh? You got to be careful because you're not in the right place. Huh? You can be used by the devil huh, to mess up somebody's walk with God. They were manipulated. Huh? Some of y'all gave preachers money like crazy, huh? and they took it and they ran. Huh? Oh, but the devil's alive. Huh? I'm coming at the end. Every demon huh, and said, Let that woman and man go. Huh. The Bible, the Bible says, huh, When you are in Christ, you are a new creature. The devil's trying to tell you, You no good. Huh. The devil's trying to tell you, You are scarred for life. Huh. I'm so glad huh, when I look at my scars huh, and I look at the things over my life. Huh, it don't make me get better, huh, it makes me get better. Because huh, I understand it didn't have to heal, huh, but it's healing. Huh. Going through some strokes in my range. Huh, Yes, I was a bad sheep of myself. I, I had people say all kinds of things against me. I, I can remember a mother of a church, a uh, first church of God in Christ in Glencoe, New York. I, and I was playing around. I was just being a jacked up boy. I, she called me a devil I, in front of everybody. I, uh, I'm, I'm so glad. I, I remember what she did, I, but I also remember what God did. God has been good to you. I, and I know sometimes you don't see it. I, but God is trying to take you out of that pain. And that's why a lot of y'all are not blessed right now. You keep rehearsing the pain. You keep rehearsing what people have said about you. News for you. There's a God that knows everything. Everything that you're going through. And everything that you're prospering. But the devil is alive. I've got to give God a praise. I want you to praise right now. When I've learned to praise God. Mommy, there when I praise God. God wants to do a resurrection in your life. I know you 
you've been sorrowful. for. I know you've been perplexed. But there's a God that's able to save from the uttermost. If I want a blessing, everybody want to heal him. If I want a breakthrough. But can I tell you right now, I want to be saved. You can keep your Mercedes. You can keep your BMW. I want to be saved. I want to know God in the part of my sins. But the Bible says, what happens a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? That's why I can't get caught up in this world. But I love God. Love him in the morning. Love him in the day. Love him in the afternoon. I'm in trouble. I cannot call my name. But I gotta call on the name of the Lord. And that's why it bothers me. There's so many people that look like me that forgot what God did. You forgot about slavery. How our forefathers prayed for deliverance. And now that you got a suit, now that you got a job, now that you got a 401k, you want to give God a praise. And that's why I thank God for a multiracial church. Because we got white people up here. Why? Because I understand the change in America will not happen until people come together in the house of God. Because that's where the healing comes. But I'm trying to tell somebody, get ready for your jump. You ought to just block. Because it was somebody who was powerful that messed up your mind. It was someone in authority that made you feel a certain type of way. But the devil's a liar. It's time for your healing. Look at this and say, neighbor, it's time for my healing.